thought I would do a review of this solar panel. It's a Nature Power 110 watt polycrystalline panel that comes with a battery charger and a little bit of mounting hardware. Home Depot had a big sale on them, so I thought I would give them a try. It's packed pretty good. Looks nice. Fit and finish. Even a bit of foam to keep the aluminum frame from getting banged up. Maybe keep the glass from breaking. A nice label on the back with all the specifications. I'll do a bit of checking, see how close it gets to those. Let's see how the wires are connected. Nice little plastic box. O-ring seal on the cover. And looks like it's sealed quite good to the back of the panel. Looks weatherproof. Wires. Mounting clips. Battery charger. Decent amount of wire. Same spring clamps would get on a very cheap battery charger. Really everything one would need to stick it out in the sun and charge a 12 volt battery. Well, I think a test of the power output is the most important item. I waited for a clear sunny summer day to do this testing. Being at a North Florida latitude, the sun is pretty intense. So let's see how close this gets to 110 watts. I do have the panel propped so it is directly facing the sun. And the sun is almost directly overhead. So this is as good as it's going to get for this location. I would say about 6.4 amps is maximum current, but the voltage has dropped quite a bit. The manual list output voltage of 18.9 volts and 5.81 amps at max power. I'm not getting that. Only about 4.5 amps out with a voltage at 18.9. Say 87 watts. Now at a 5.4 amp load, I'm at 18 volts, about 97 watts. At 17.3 volts, I'm getting 6 amps, about 104 watts. Alright, at 16.9 volts and 6.2 amps, around 105 watts, that looks like that is about peak output power. That is pretty close to 110 watts. If I was a few hundred more miles south, it would probably make it to 110 watts. Close enough to advertised, I would say. I mean, I can easily see a 10% variance panel to panel. As for power output laying flat and about 3 hours away from peak sun, a little over 75 watts. I thought that was pretty good. Lift the panel to face the sun, bumps it up to 90 watts. I think could easily get a half a kilowatt hour a day from the panel. I'll have to test it in the winter, see if it's possible to get 90 watts in the middle of the day. I guess calling it a battery charger is a bit much. Even the advertising on the box calls it a charge controller. It's really just a controlled switch. I guess they would say it's a PWM charge controller. I think that's a stretch, but technically I guess it is. I don't think I would use it on any 12 volt battery smaller than 10 amp hour. With this panel in bright sunlight, it would be hard on the battery. It seems to be a nicely made solar panel. As I'm writing this, the price at Home Depot is kinda high. When they had it on sale, it was less than $100, and I think that was a good deal. I would not use this charge controller for long term use on a battery. If need to charge a battery in a pinch, fine. I hope to use this panel in a solar lighting project, so I'll find a better charger for the battery, one that will treat the battery with more care. Thank you for watching.